Speaking of which, out in Gaelic, Okunu was told, "Don't talk about Talagi Sunbonani." And I salute to all my hustlers. Ikama, umepi lo shuma, ushelo is fun. Namsha, jige shelo ba face spega. Umka go kona la panage ku brewing industries. Someone in Dora has learned a unom fundo. Oti ena go watala afunuba a mechanical engineer. Kuto abona lo umka ka wa utanda. Gile tisu tisu aga utanda gomba. Oi stay on umaga utanda puza. Gita ge shelo pansi askazilege izatu zaki ba face. Jomani tisu au shelo pansi uban bumte sense. I was born here in Soweto and then I was born here in Soweto and then I moved back to Soweto. I was born here in Soweto and 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 I was born here in Soweto. I was born in Seben, I was born in Mali. I was born in my background, in my family. I was challenged by my mom. Because I was born in my family, because this space is enough, this space is my mom. So I was born in my family, and I was born in my family. I was born in my family, and I was born in my family. I was born in my family, and I was born in my family. Abas and Libami, they were very supportive. Although ba ba ba, as it is, we don't have fun in our zone. But we don't have fun in any zone. We don't have any fun at all. We don't fun to be in the game. We don't discuss on any thing. We don't have any fun at all. We don't have sex. We don't have fun in any thing. We don't have any fun at all. 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 It's six o'clock. We will be sending. We figure late after six. Hey, my mom was furious. Hey, yeah, I'm shy. I'm shy. We are saving do. Oh, I remember as I found the primary. We were stressed. We got busy. We didn't have enough time to last long. By the time I found them, we were still calling each other. Kau ni beng pusha, kau cool. Beng asum tanah or traveling, ne? Bengi bengi selang i forecast i gen sum seven sama sekolah ni entah lagi mungkin gue entah ngau. Because I knew what ngapa lu gue tengah le forecast ni na we angin ni endah. So education was key. Kuni kuni langa la, ubah balas le lom seven si gua nama ni entah. Fani le bakar le bai sekolah ni. Bakar le only turat. Aham bangi ni awe it distance. Kuna mfundo le mali aikeri le ngombona kutaguna nixendi indoa yenza mtana mabu ya mali mabu ya dalima le samkeri sayon watu na watu ingatia le mali mama sio yila ngoni bui zote kwa sambala ili langu mbona kuna kuto mtana o o ni ngondo kakuulu kuya si indai funa ifu tembele. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I'm curious about it. Yeah, I'm ambitious about it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Grade 10 begins in science. It's science and math. It's in biology and geography. Yeah, and then in the end, I'm going to push it in science. I'm going to do it in the same way. 
if, if it's something, a, a chemistry, a chemistry behind the Zundolezo, or, or if it's something electrically, this was a good Like, if functional ganja, what happens for it? What is the benefit? So being spent our coolest cutting I am bona is in the as as in Zayo Bona I seven Zayenzayo. So grade twelve after grade twelve I decided to you know it's in going to mechanical engineering. Uh Benza e motor mechanics. Le carabin you choose the label of Mobana say Classin, Bessie to woman Dombazan. And they will ask what Ufuna and the field in never found in Dombazan. So I had to stand my ground as we see Zoyans and Tingi Funuguyenza and Anya Gebang Toyle Pant. Mechanical engineering is at grade level 2. Um, Gabo September, October, um, that's what information with the city was uh, issuing a malinership, pre proving, pre proving the packaging. Then I apply a mina bank tata under e proving. Temizer seven the child gubernal and delay with hey, a chaleni. So suppose or some good taste to child or ruins any, not knowing good to use of figure INC in the layer corn. Oma magapos, no magapos. So since it's a carrier, it's a long one. But by the time you get to support, you understand that you need to find your way in your seven zones. The science leadership in 2014, we have been seven zones. So he. A kind of seven financial struggle can man because uh, besides pillar and logo are a immalibly civil. So Utem Varalo was so we me with EEE low money being to local ownership, but provide an abo a kind. We felt guilt. Good manje, Sizo seven the in Malum Tana, Sizo and Tom Tana. Yes, best begin with the ascents and the massacre coolly are right. But manje at first. We felt guilt, but we go to the end. I show at the end, mom. Look, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to the Gunenzel. Elena Shipiam say Pelile, a city bang, and then Sasa is there for an interview, a seller operator position. Gifi Sengati anga hambagal. Konge lo a a abagfuna yo, but you go to unako.
okay guys i'm about to go in for interview um quite a bit nervous but um, I'm confident I have my hopes high and then I hope for the best and I hope that I find a job finally. Hi, Hi good morning Nomfundo. My name is Yvonne Mosutwani. I'm the HR business partner for Heineken SA Citibank Brewery. I'm joined here by Titus Ezema. He's the brewery manager for Citibank Brewery. Welcome to the interview. I hope you are relaxed and you're looking forward to have this conversation with us. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Nice to meet you, sir. Okay. Uh, Nomfundo, we're going to start by uh, explaining to you why you are here and the process that we're going to follow. We are interviewing you for seller operator role after you have completed your leadership program with us and we will be giving you opportunity to share with us your learning experiences, your career background, and we will give you opportunity at the end of this interview process to go through some trust to demonstrate your practical experience. We interview you for a seller operator position. This role is responsible for, moni for monitoring the fermentation of beer, for cooling of fermentation, and for maturing of the beer. I'm sure it's something that you are a bit familiar with that you may have been exposed to during your leadership program. Okay, so I hope you're gonna be comfortable with the interview process. Yes. So we're gonna give you an opportunity to share with us your educational background. What have you studied and what are you doing currently? Okay, uh, my name is Numfundo Tlachwayo. I'm 22 years of age. Um, currently staying in Soweto, so deep Kloof. And then um, my educational background, I matriculated in 2011 doing maths and science. And then straight after that, I spent a year home. And then later in 2012, I got the opportunity uh, to uh, study the leadership of brewing in City Bank. Okay. All right, please share with us during your leadership program, what have you learned? Uh, during my leadership program, I learned uh, the theoretical part of uh, brewing, um, fermentation and also filtration. That includes the RTT. Um, it, was, it was a nice experience because coming from school, I, I had to learn more of the new stuff that's interesting. It's just interesting to know how the beer is made and all that. Impressive. Okay. What attracted you to Heineken South Africa and uh, what did you gain from the experience so far? Okay, um, Heineken South Africa, it being the global company, attracted me because uh, I saw in my research that through, Heine through Heineken SA I can, uh, given, uh, can be given opportunities to explore more on my career path that I have chosen. So uh, I believe that uh, with Heineken SA, I can be given more opportunities and learn a bit more on brewing, not only on sellers, but on other forms of brewing as well. Okay, Nomfundo, we'd like to know more about you. If we were to ask your family or friends or your colleagues um, about you as a person, how would they describe you? Um, firstly, I am self-motivated. So I'm able to motivate myself and not easily distracted. And then secondly, I am uh, a go-getter. I don't wait for opportunities to come to me. I go out, do researches, and find opportunities that are out. And then thirdly, I'm a hard worker. I work hard and to, to, to get the way I want to. Good. How will you describe your weakness, Nofundo? And how do you intend to overcome that? Um, I can be uh, impatient at times. I can be impatient and what I plan to do it is to learn the background of people and knowing their uh, uh, dynamics and learn how do they, uh, 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 and learn their um, dynamics and background of how do they think and how are they doing things. Okay, the one step that still needs to be done as part of our interview process, you have to do a practical assessment. So you will have to go uh, through 
with a mentor who will show you three tasks that you need to do practically. And if we are happy with the feedback that mentor gives us, then we will be able to conclude the interview process and advise you if you have made it to this role or not. Okay. Are you comfortable? Yes, I am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for Thank coming, you. Ofunda. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just came out of the interview. The interview went well, I hope, and I'm looking forward to doing the task with the mentor, and hopefully I do good and get the job at the end. Our hustle is not a big deal. We are 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 not a big deal. Bayi kweti sasa bayi tuti baba ona, bayi tuti bana, bayi tuti la hurite la juala, humubidisa, hufikia la wuki anako maboto loo. Wena oka eta degree ya food science, kapa weta diploma in food technology, mesli fiscal science, diya troka hala. Iko apanye liskolo se osiratang, ufuma neta wana di trokwa. Tina aga abantege abakoloya ema sigueni. Eskatine slingi siya zenzela uto labe tu besintu. Masine mi kimbe, efana ni mishate, misebenzi, nishone mingwa. Tina jenga abantu bespani sunguwa ki nina jenge encha. Ngingali vula age ipi nisilo kutaisa ke uto labe sintu. Ngabege akona ama tuba kona lapayana. Nita nishele ni imitaba ngwe ni jenga manji kona lapayana ku Facebook na ku Twitter. My name is George Haletaka. I'm 32 years um, old of age. Uh, my background is uh, chemical engineering. So I first did my national diploma in chemical engineering at uh, TUT, so an University of Technology, and then later did my bachelor degree in the same course, which is chemical engineering. I'm currently studying the master's degree in chemical engineering during the second year. And um, I'm working here uh, currently as a brewing chicken leader. Started in 2009 as a brewing uh, operator and then later as a brewing uh, specialist. Currently as a, um, a brewing chicken leader, yes. Hi, welcome, I'm from the Shatswai. My name is George Sohalitlaka. I'll be your mentor for this uh, three tasks that we'll be doing. So this area, we call it the brewing control room, where we have the brew section, filtration section, and cellar section where we'll be focusing on and utility section. Now from here we're gonna move to the physical cellars area where we'll be bring the, doing the walkabout and then I'll show you the checklist that we'll be using. Then I'll also ask you questions about the equipments in the plant. The first task is all about the cellars area walkabout. So it simply means is the in inspection for the cleanliness of the area, inspection of the equipment that includes the valves, pumps, and all the connections that we have. So it's just to check for the leaking of the valves, for abnormal uh, noise in the area or for any CO2 leak or for any product leak that you can see. So if they, there's a green light, it means there's no CO2 in the area. It's safe to enter the area. Let's go the sisters rising to the occasion by first stemming to the corner wins on seven. So I got shy task here, Lapana. Yeah, you get e hygiene and safety inspection corner Lapana. We sell about first. Give show how I'm going to assemble.
All right, Nomfundo, this is the checklist for the seller's area that we'll be using. Okay. For example, we'll be checking the block 100 uh, fermentation. So we'll check if the area is clean for okay. any leaks in the building, if there's any damaged equipment, if there's any leaking valves or pumps, or if there's any strange noises, or if there's any block drains that they are not covered. We check if the fire extinguishers are working and the last calibrations, and then we check if all the doors are closed. Okay. I'm not sure. Then you check the yes, and then we can put the comments as well. Okay. Then we'll be also asking the questions for the area or the types of valves that you know or you lend in during your leadership program. Okay. Any question? No. Okay, okay. and then no. we can hit the area. Beer brewing actually is exciting and it is a career on its own. That's why we have uh, some um, brewing certificates that you can study, brewing diploma and brewing master's degree as well. So it is a career on its own and the brewing industry, uh, it, I don't think it will die anytime soon because people when they are excited they drink, when they are sad they are drink. So it's an interesting journey. Okay, in brewers we do 12 brews per day, of which one brew is about 700 liters on one line. So we have both lines, so we do 24 brews per day, which is uh, roughly one brew is 700 liters. And then on the packaging side, we have roughly 300 pallets packaged. So in one pallet is about 84 cases. So we package about in average 300 pallets per shift. Uh, on special occasions, uh, I do drink beer, but uh, I don't drink much. Eh? I don't drink much beer. In task one, I have to go and inspect the seller's area and make sure that the plant is clean, there are no any other leakages or any parts like valves damaged or anything. It's just a walkabout just to inspect the area. This is the fermentation area. So in total we have uh, 49 uh, fermentation vessels. So then we look at uh, this block 300. We also have nine FSTs. And then this is the filling matrix for the block 300. Okay. So we have different blocks. So it's Tank Street 310, Tank Street 320, and Tank Street 380. But now do you know the types of valves that we have here, starting with the, the big ones? Um, the big one, um, I think it's the one sided valve yeah. because I see the direction, it only have one direction, Correct, yeah. so it can't be double seated yes. because it's only one direction that's Correct, it's yeah, for the field yeah. Yes. So is and the And then I think these valves are the butterfly valves. Correct, yeah. Uh, looking at the size and the made and all that, I think this one's a butterfly valve. Okay, no, that's correct. Yes, are uh, the butterfly valves. Uh, because this is your checklist, and then you write your name, the date, and then you check for this, and then you put any comment. So in this case, we'll look at the block 300. Okay, the personality, it will be first a hard worker, a person who's willing to work with people, the person who's willing to work shifts because we operate 24 hours, and then the person who's willing to go to different areas, for example, cold areas as well, because the fermentation area is very cold. Okay, then do you have any leakings uh, according to you on the filling metrics? Okay. Any cleanliness of the area? The area is not clean at all. It's not clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's clean, but... But uh, all the stains and all that. Okay, all right. Clean. And then are there any leaking valves? No, there are no okay. leaking valves. Um, any leaking pumps, because there is also pumps around here? Um, it's the no. pumps, but no. Okay. Okay, is there any damaged equipment that you can see or you can identify? No. Nothing, okay. So you are happy? Then you can even look at the tanks if there's any leakage in the tanks. Okay, no, and then the drains, you are happy with them? No block drains? No, yes, sir. Okay. 
I'm yeah. happy. So in this case, that's about it for now for the cellar area. Then you can just look around the area if you notice anything that is abnormal. You can just look around as well if there's anything that you notice. What kind of a noise am I looking for? Is that the loud burning noise? The loud burning noise or any pump that is making noise because the bearings are damaged or any leakages of the pipes or valves or tanks because you will see the product going out of the valves or product going out of the tank because the valve is leaking. Okay. So everything is clear. She did very well because she was physically looking at the plant. She looked at the valves, leakage, the thickness of the area. So she had that, so she was interested and she did very well. On on the second task uh, will be taking an FST sample, the fermentation vessel. So this is the Ellen Meyer flask that we'll be using to collect about 200 mils of the sample. Then this is the ethanol that we use to uh, sterilize the sampling point. Okay. So remember I did a preview on that. The second task is to take a sample at the FST that is fermenting, which is the fermentation vessel. So the first thing she was expected to take a flask of about 500 mils and take a sample of about 250 mils. Then after taking the sample, we went to the mini lab and then at the mini lab, we used the alkalizer first thing. We heated the sample to 22 degrees and then filtered the sample and then put the sample into a analyzing container and then we put it on the alkalizer to check the alcohol and the apparent extract. Then from there, we enter the results into the scale and then we plot on the fermentation chart. This is the fermentation area, as you can see, and then these are our four harabs for Heineken. So what we'll do, we'll do, a, we'll take a sample for FST 112, that is in fermentation. I'm about to go uh, take the fermentation samples. By that, I'll have to check the AE of the tank, which is the apparent extract. That will determine how fast the tank is fermenting. This is FST 112, so you first open the sampling point, and then run uh, the ethanol with uh, the actual beer, so that you don't get the ethanol sample, the actual beer. You rinse the flask, you rinse it again, then you get the actual sample. You can see that the beer is fermenting, there is foam there, so it means there is fermentation. We just have to see the apparent extract after analyzing the sample, then you close, then you sterilize the sampling point with alcohol. Okay, there you go to avoid some microorganisms or a growth there. Sterilize it, uh, that's perfect. Then you rinse uh, the beer there. So the temperature in the fermentation room is about two degrees because you don't want your, ferm your beer to ferment at high temperature. Otherwise, you'll have foaming in your tanks and then you'll use the bitterness of the beer. The bitterness of the beer is very important because that's what people want to feel, the bitterness of the beer. It has to be bitter, not flat. Fermentation is the conversion of um, sugars from the wet into alcohol. So what happens there, the yeast actually eats the sugars and ferments them to alcohol. So that's, that's basically what fermentation is. Okay, this is the mini lab. Then you can put your alcohol down. 
and first we have to heat up the sample um, to at least 20 degrees so Celsius. I just put it in. Yes, correct. Yeah, while you are temperating, yeah. The gazing, yeah, that's correct. You are temperate until 22 degrees, that's fine. Then we can come this side. Here's your clean flask, then put about 0.5 grams of the kisselka inside the filter paper. Okay, that's fine. Then you can close that and then put in your sample. So you are filtering your sample before you put it into the alkalizer to analyze the apparent extract. Okay, that will slightly take a while. So now I think our sample is ready, <coughs> enough sample that we can run. So first thing you have to rinse the, this flask slightly and then decant it into here and then put the sample, all of it. Okay. Okay, rinse. Yeah. Then we can decant into this flask. Okay. Then get the filtered sample. No bubbles. Uh, good. Okay. Right, and then we go to the alkalizer. We took the sample that we filtered and we put it into the alkalizer. So the alkalizer uh, told us the, um, what the AE was. We always have water for this. And then you can put the sample after the water. So f we first run the water on the machine and the beer after. And then this is the beer that the machine that will run for us and then you can put start. start. Start button at the side. Okay. This will rotate. Then you can even see it will first suck the water just to zero your machine. It has two years as well for the sampling. She did very well because she wasn't afraid to go to the area whether it's too cold or not. And then she was interested to take the sample and passionate to analyze it as well. And also eager to see the results, if the tank is fermenting or not. No mfunde o kare o na le dimlemo a sebetsa sebakeng sena tsena ka o fela o di thotse fela go tswako lena ship ya hai ma haslasi ho ithuta ha ho tle ka chantse o lokela ho batla ka maikemisetso o ho thona ke ka hlokomelo ha ile batho ba retaila njwala ba lokela ho bana le botsebi ka tsamaiso ya ho retaila njwala ho bolokeha le ho etsa hlama mila koro le ho reteleng se latelang re bona yena no mfunde a lekola east ya hai ha e ka ba ha ya lekana he re tla bona hlama ya hai isinyeha Mfundo this is the requirements that we need to sample our yeast Task 3 is the yeast slurry sampling. So which simply means we have our yeast tanks uh, for the yeast that we need to analyze before we reuse. We went to the yeast plant, then we took the sample, and then from there we went to the micro lab, and then we uh, diluted the sample so that we can get the viable cells. Hasla has been eating some one decent natural such chili nuts, but first summer I get unknown food. Our hustler who's bubbling under but rising to the top, not to be bubble as pussy in buffet. Let's just hope her bubble won't get burst today. Java has a humble pana. I will not be telling local Abuzile. We have two and get soon. Ovuna local of Chalil. It doesn't cost out to Mazo Shile Tasle. Get in and beat and Japan. Oma Queen, Oma Me. Got a nagger in the Mina Kunala Pana buffet. You and I get in one chambulet. So I'll see you next thing. You another letter, which is your true, which is the letter. Yes, but first, you can tell you what to do. Yes, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go Here's your plastic uh, container just to run off the yeast and the alcohol water that is in the sampling point. So you can open the sampling point here at the bottom 
and close it on top. Yeah, and then open your sampling point. Run it for a while. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Then you can take the actual sample. Take your beaker, yeah. that's the lid, then take the actual yeast sample, about 200 ml is fine. In task three, I had to do yeast sampling and analysis. So we went into the plant and sampled the yeast. Uh, working in the lab is uh, interesting for me as well. I don't have to, to, to just work with things that I don't see. So to actually take a yeast and analyze it, working on the lab, the environment there, it's just appealing and interesting to do. Now, Nomfundo, we're going to analyze the viability of our yeast just to check how much is the viable cells within the yeast. Okay. Then this is the SOP that we went through. Then we have our pipettes that we're going to use. Here's your gloves and then your nuclear cases there inside. So you know the nuclear cases, you mustn't touch them with your fingerprint. You have to touch at the tip only. Then you can remove your yeast and put it here so that you can prepare. Okay. Yeah, 50 mils. And there is the pipettes. So they are labeled this yeah, 51, yeah. yeah. Then so one mil into the 50 mil volumetric flask. One mil into the barometric flask, we did that. Then the second, fill up the mark. So we have to fill up the mil with the 50 ml solution using the sterile solution. This is a highly uh, automated plant, obviously. So if you have a high computer skills, it will be easy to run the plant. But you need to have a math and science background. That's why the learners or people who complete the learning program, they've done math and science. That's when they do the, their learning program, where they do the theoretical part. They also study about the pumps and valves and the, the fermentation and the brewing process. But mostly it will be in engineering background, microbiology, and biotech as well. Second one. Done. So you have your sample number one and number two. Then the first one you will take the nuclear cassette. Don't touch it fully. Okay. Then make sure that you Do the first one. Yeah, first one, yeah. Okay, that's perfect. And then 
Uh, this is your neutral counter, so put it on. Okay, and then it's gone. Okay. Is that the correct ring? So then you can open it. Oh, there's an, so remove the nuclear cassette that is in there. So just demonstrate how you have to put it the way the first one it was, or the one that you found it. Properly close and run. Okay. We have 9.55 times 10 to the power 5, and then according to the SOP, we multiply that by 10. So it will be 9.55 times 10 to the power 6. Okay, then you can record the results. Our findings was that the percentage of the live cells in the yeast was uh, 95%. So uh, getting 95%, it's, the yeast is good to be used for the, other, for the next production. Hi, Nomfundo, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, how has your task gone? Um, my tasks have been uh, very fun to do mm. and very exciting yeah. uh, because I haven't done them practically, I only knew the theoretical part. Yeah. So doing them practically, getting to know how things are done here, uh, it, it was quite fun. Wow. Did you enjoy working with your mentor? I enjoyed very well. He what? is he is humble, op he was open. Uh, it was just nice to work with him. It wasn't that difficult. Okay. From the tasks that you have done, what is the most thing that you have enjoyed? It's the yeast sampling and mm -hmm. uh, analyzing. I, I didn't know what kind of yeast uh, they're using, so getting to, 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 uh, to physically see the yeast and sample it and getting to fill the texture and all the smell, it was, it was quite exciting. That's brilliant. Tantas? Okay, Nofundo, I would like to give you more insight as to our shift operations here and the key behaviors that is expected, especially in your department brewing, and then also for this site. Uh, we are a 24 hours operations, but our shift operation is 12 hours. So okay. in brew house, you have a four by 12 shift pattern. So okay. you will work 12 hours, a day shift or 12 hours night shift with some off days. Okay. And in terms of the behavior that is expected of anyone working on this site, the first key behavior is put safety first. Okay. If it is not safe, don't do it. All right. We cannot compromise the safety of yourself or your colleagues at work. The second behavior is that you must act like an entrepreneur. You have in all your decision making, in all your duty, you act as if you own this company. Okay. The third key behavior expected from you is to collaborate with your colleagues. Collaborate through trust. You cannot do it alone. You need the teamwork from your colleagues to be able to make this place a success. And the fourth is that you have to keep it simple. You simplify your activities, whatever you do, you do it in such a simple manner because simplicity brings the result we are seeking for in this place. Okay. And lastly, you must learn to improve. Continuous learning is what we need to continuously eliminate the losses we have in the premises. Okay. Hope it's clear? Yes, it does clear, sir. Okay. Okay, that's good. Does okay. that sound interesting? It does sound interesting. Okay. 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 So one day we expect to see uh, our employee or you, if you are successful in this role, to grow to be a brewery manager, to be a brewery specialist, like you mentioned earlier, that you would like to see yourself as a brewery specialist. Okay. It's possible, but it's up to you to go out there and make it happen. Okay. 
Does that sound? It sounds good. Interesting. interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. That's good. Okay, one more thing that we have to do. We have sat through with your mentor who was taking you through the task that you had to do. He has given us very good feedback about you and we were very impressed by that. The earlier interview that we had with you, we were also very impressed with the way you conducted yourself, how you answered the questions. And we believe that you have the potential to be a Heineken SA talent. Wow, <laughs> thank you very Having much. Having said that, we'd like to congratulate you because we have made a decision to offer you this role. Wow, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations and welcome to Heineken South Africa. I'm happy to join. Well, thank Come. you. Okay. Okay, Hustlers just came out of the final interview and hopefully, uh, I did get the job as I, as I was wishing and now I can finally uh, be able to help my uh, siblings go to school, be able to help uh, my family as well since my father lost his job. So yeah, for you guys, you need to be a hustler, stay focused, know what you want. The sky is not the limit. First up, push up panda. Congratulations, Nomfundo. Ri tuti le kawe na horbu kamo solo go sanu ho hotle. Boma tsohong aba ishopi sitse. Boto ya rona ya beke ena iso koma lose. Ariana watu ri tuti la huba para mediki. Le kalalena le hudi la haholo di limote twenty five fifty fifty le. Hasi mo sebeti fela emba kipi iso. Kete la tepe di soka di la telang. Okaeta university degree. Mo ilongo ro shaka four years horu ri tuti le emergency care. Kapa okaeta two years national certificate in emergency. Bahiri Baba Bedi, ke private le ba muso. Hasa o tetile he, o shoka registration ya HPCSA, driver's license le professional driving permit. Le ka ba ER24 le net care. Hai le city of Johannesburg, le ona ina le di training course. Hai ka ba gona le ho sa ufuma nang, ho pula o chake la Facebook, ka pa website ya rona, ki emeti ya hao poto. Champagne, Don't try it at home, but something that you've been trying at home, it is our word jumbo. Jumbo is niggas that impend to love face. Yeast. I want to get more to learn. It's kukuma la ui kenya. Umu want to learn. It's high baba kukuma ya. We don't work next time. We na gumpa na gumta gumta. So zonki tabo. Same puma ganje. We have mafunu mnyonyo wani ekwele. We have mupa fetu. We social networks zetu tukona. Our website and also on YouTube. We want to learn. We want to learn. Amar pisu fetu. Go Thursday. Go eleven o'clock. We na gumpa na gumta gumta. Don't look down. Look up and stay up. Cheers to the working hustlers. Yes, yeah. I'll drink to that. You could drink to God. See you next week.